When I look up at the night sky on a clear night, I see the stars, I see planets and the moon, and I see the darkness that holds it all. But more importantly, I see much more than these physical components of the universe. I see a myriad of emotions. I see the past, present, and future speaking to me through my eyes. And I see life, death, and every possible thing that exists before, during, and after them both. In the night sky exists life as it was. Towards the outer reaches of the universe, the stars haven't formed yet. There are no planets or moons or life as we know it. But it is not empty. It is a realm of possibilities, wherein lies the building blocks of everything. And in its lack of form we can understand its greatest strength, that it can become whatever it wants. So many of us have become locked in our lives to the point where changing our lives would require struggle that we cannot afford, chances that we cannot risk. We look at our children in the same way I look at this space. It has more of its life ahead of it than behind it, and for that, I envy it. I'm happy for it, and I try to live vicariously through it. In the night sky exists life as it is. It moves around, already established as it will exist and goes about its life in this form. It travels, it grows and changes based on its experiences, it interacts with and is influenced by the life that it comes into contact with. Sometimes it can be beneficial, taking in the best bits and making itself more than it was. Other times it will struggle and lose itself in its challenges, either becoming less than it was or dying and transforming into something else or nothing at all. It is life as we live it now, it is hard and fun and sad and chaotic and serene and everything that defines who we are. And most importantly, we are conscious of it all, which makes it all more real to us. In the night sky exists life as it will be. The consequences of the beginnings and the middles are playing out in the ends all around us. Stars that have burned out their energy are dying and collapsing and exploding, sometimes taking everything around them with it. The doomed paths that many comets and asteroids and other free-roaming planetoids have taken are coming to an end in violent, predestined collisions, or in many cases, unfortunate accidents. Areas of space that have been filled with light for millions of years are going dark, perhaps never to be lit again. It is a time of uncertainty for the future, fear of loss, and the suffering of unbecoming what you have always been. But in this is the most necessary element of life change. This is when the universe ceases being what it was and becomes something new. Its energies are redistributed throughout space and they have a chance to reform into a new existence. And this represents our greatest weapon against everything that can keep us from true happiness. Hope. Hope that we can make our lives better, that we can give a better life to those who come after us, and that we have been given the best chances possible by those that came before us. In a very real way, our future becomes someone else's past, just as our past was someone else's future. The night sky contains everything life has to offer. Everything that ever was, is, and will be exists all around us, and it's easy to forget looking out at it that we are a part of that everything. We are a part of every other planet's night sky, of the past, present, and future that goes on every second of every day. And that means that contained within each of us are all the things that the night sky has to show us. All the emotions, all the possibilities, all the light and darkness, an entire universe inside every one of us. When I look up at the night sky, I see more than stars and planets and darkness. I see myself, I see the life I've had, the life I have now, and the life I may have someday. Sometimes it makes me feel like smiling. Other times, it makes me feel like crying, but I will continue to look up, because above all else, it makes me feel.